This is Paul, Golden Gate Enterprises. We are up here on the wine country in St. Helena. We have another uh, job here. It's a structural uh, repair slash deck replacement. We have significant dry rot. We have significant beetle damage. We have the upper landing up there that has main girders that are completely uh, eaten away by powder post beetles. Uh, the stairs over here um, are beginning to pull away from the structure and I was able to poke some holes at the bottom girder. You'll notice all this is cantilevered by the way and if you can kind of get a little better look there's a main girder it looks like a uh, 6x10 or 6x12 uh, that's kind of coming diagonally across and then we've got some other girders coming out of the house uh, and another big girder right at the header of the stairs up top there. Both of those, by the way, are munched on by powder post beetles. Um, the stairs over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty. This is going to do about twenty stairs here, and you can see how it's sagging. The girder at the bottom uh, is completely rotted out uh, from powder post beetles, and that needs to be completely uh, redone from inside the house. Uh, the rest of the deck here. It's all cantilevered. What we're looking at is maybe going to a post and beam structure over here. Uh, we've got a hillside. I'd say right now you're probably 10, about 15 feet off the ground here in this first uh, piece. And as we go further down, we're probably 15 to 20 feet uh, off the ground. And we're just at the edge of the hill with where the piers would need to go. Um, they would like to bring this deck out uh, maybe another uh, uh, six, seven feet. Uh, so if we do a post and beam with maybe a bit of a cantilever, that would probably work pretty well. Possible maybe to tie some grade beams in to the foundation wall. Uh, looks like we've got um, a cinder block foundation here. Uh, maybe that obviates the need for uh, actual uh, drilled piers. Uh, if we can tie into the uh, grade be into the uh, existing foundation here. So it looks like it could come out about five, maybe six, seven, eight feet, something like that uh, with a grade beam and do that wherever we need our piers over here. This particular portion of the deck right now is approximately six feet wide and we've got about 10, 20. First run here is about 20 feet long. And then the main run along the back here um, is still about six feet wide and we're probably 10, 20, 30, about 35 feet long to uh, the corner of the house. And we'll take a little closer look. And by the way, there's that nice um, foundation wall that maybe we can tie some grade beams into to pick up uh, uh, our foundation footings for uh, our posts over here. So if I come out here, and we turn around and we look back, uh, we can get a better view. I would say that that's probably 10, 20, 25, 28 feet, maybe 30 feet here at the outside edge. And by the way, what you're looking at on that deck that was architect, that's actually coming out from the corner of the house, a steel girder uh, to support that whole prow, so to speak. And there are cross pieces that are part of that steel framing. And the steel framing uh, looks like it goes down the deck the first, oh, 20 feet. And it's almost uh, like a ledger board that everything's tied into on the outside edge. And it goes down the side of the deck about 15 or 20 feet down this way also. So um, we're looking at redoing this whole deck, making it bigger, going to a post and beam structure uh, here, and then as we come around the far right side of the house, we have an existing deck that is here that at its widest girth, it's probably 10, uh, let's say 15 feet wide. And the deck from here at this point here is probably 10, 20, 25, 30, 35 feet long uh, by about 15. We've got existing piers that are here 
And what we want to do is we want to rebuild this deck. Uh, it's a more traditional post and beam uh, structure that's in here, but the whole deck is rotting, the joists, uh, the deck boards, uh, even the girder itself. So we have these existing piers that are here. And what we want to do is see if we might be able to use them in order to um, take the deck that is upstairs um, and bring it out even with this lower deck. So basically this upper deck comes out as far as this deck right here. I'm wondering if we might be able to use the same pier structure that's in here. Um, we're trying to locate the plans to see how deep the piers are, how big they are and things like that. But then another possible idea is maybe these chunks of concrete can be grade be beamed into the foundation wall again to basically create a grade beam uh, to set our new uh, posts on. So what we're kind of thinking is we've got a post here, post here, post there, maybe a post outbound there, and we've got our whole new, let's see if I can get over here, deck system that's over here, climb up the hill. And what we end up with is um, this lower deck being rebuilt and we have an upper deck. We're going to try and probably keep these stairs in place as they stand. And the upper deck is a cantilever deck. Let's take a look at it. You can see this is a, uh, a full cantilever. And if you look carefully, you can see that's where the metal girder is with a bracket at each one of the joists that come out. And that girder is all part of this metal girder out here on the prow, so to speak. And you can kind of maybe get a better view with the light this way. So you want to take this deck, push it out as wide as this deck. So basically you've got two full decks that are now uh, the size of this deck here. And I want to redo the stairs coming down over here. And this gives you a little better view. And again, we're probably 10, 15 feet out. We've got a deck that's 10, 20, 30, about 35 feet long here. So 35 by 15, uh, disregarding the shape with the angles on it. And there is the upper deck. What we'll do is we'll come up the stairs over here and take a view of the upper deck and we're now on the upper deck and there's kind of the jutted out prow there that was designed to take advantage of the nice valley views of the wine country and here is the upper deck as we walk through here get an idea of how this was architected and this set of stairs goes to an upper loft area up there and if you squint hard enough what you can see is this whole set of stairs is sagging down and it's actually pulling away from the house you can see the gap in there that's because the beam underneath here is completely rotted and there's another girder at the top that appears to be all powder post, beetle ridden, and needs to be done. These stairs are extremely unsafe and they should not be walked on by anybody uh, at this point. So that's a quick view of our deck as we see it. it. Needs to be completely rebuilt and need a set of plans, all the engineering, and of course, redesign of the deck structure. So this is Paul Golden Gate Enterprises with a, another project here. Give us a call, bayareacontractor.com. Paul Gordon, Golden Gate Enterprises, your deck structural repair, foundation repair, dry rot, and structural repair specialist. And again, we're general contractors servicing the entire San Francisco Bay Area, and we get referred uh, throughout the Bay Area. Here we are up in the wine country for another project. Okay, thanks, Paul Gordon, Golden Gate Enterprises, your San Francisco Bay Area general contractor.